guys, how are you? It's Cameron here. So today the producer told me he has a present for me and he wants me to cook with it. So here it comes and I'm gonna see what I can do. Right. So, we have a pie maker from Kmart. These things seem to be pretty popular on mo at the moment on Facebook. I see a lot of different recipes going around with different things you can do. I guess now what I need to do is find something that I can do with this. So I'm gonna play around with this. I'm gonna track down some pastry and I'm gonna find something that I can do with this. So at the start of the day, I was given a challenge to cook something with this, but something that could also be made from another meal. So what I've done is I've got my lamb shanks from the previous video. Uh, these are slow cooked lamb shanks and it was something I figured that I could make into two meals. So I'm gonna show you how to make an awesome lamb shank pie. I'm guessing I've never used one of these, so I'm just gonna spray it with oil anyway. I'm not sure if they're non-stick or not, but it's non-stick now. Yeah, lots of oil. So I've got some short crust pastry and some puff pastry, and I'm just gonna use the cutter template to cut these out. And then I guess we're just gonna, we probably shouldn't have heated this first. I probably shouldn't have turned this on because this is gonna burn me. But hey. What better way to learn? I figure if I'm gonna make pies, I might as well make the lot of them. Ow, that is hot and burning me. So, in future, if you're using one of these, don't turn it on before you fill it. I've learned something today, and that's what's really important. Right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my lamb shanks here, and I'm gonna pull the meat apart, and this is just a testament to how tender these lamb shanks are. As you can see, it just comes straight off the bone. Now I've got the sauce there, I'm gonna mix that in, and I'm just really gonna separate it, and I wanna have a nice, juicy lamb shank pie. So you'll see what I've got here is I've got this slow cooked lamb in a rich tomato and beef sauce, and we're gonna put that in the pie maker and we're gonna see how it goes. As always, I'm a big fan of working with my hands. I don't know, I'm gonna fill these up different amounts because I don't know what's correct and what isn't. So let's just see. Oh, hot, ow, yeah. I'm gonna brush these down around the edges just so the lids stick. Should I have a pastry bus brush, but I really wasn't prepared for this, and yeah, let's just roll with it. Get some puff pastry lids on. Kmart mums, eat your heart out. These look delicious. Oh. American viewers, Kmart is a department store similar to your Walmart. Um, again, I should really have a pastry brush, but I was not expecting this, was not prepared. 
Hey, I'm gonna close that, chuck it down, and when that light goes green, I'm guessing they're cooked. How long is this meant to take? Because this thing is pumping out some steam and it looks like they're still not ready. Just like having a look under these, like they're looking like they're starting to be cooked, but I don't know. I'm gonna leave them a little bit longer. I want a nice golden coat on all of them. Kind of like if you're making a pie in an oven. This is probably the closest you'll ever get to me becoming a baker. Um, and I have no intentions of ever doing it. Not that I've got any problem with bakers, it's just that baking, you've just got to make everything so precise and measured. And as you see from the way I cook, I just, I cook to taste and feel and I mess everything up when I bake. Come on, pause. Nearly ready. I'm calling this done. So, what we have here is we have turned a gourmet restaurant meal into a Kmart pie maker pie. Um, not sure that that's something I ever thought I'd be doing, but hey, let's look and see if the inside is as hot as the outside. I mean, it looks pretty cooked and pretty good. The lid's held on nicely. Hot. It's real hot. Oh, excuse me. That's really hot. <laughs> um, so as you can see, we've got a saucy lamb shank pie. Something I didn't think I'd ever do or see myself doing, but eh, why not? Give that a crack. Ooh. It's hot. I'm gonna call that challenge complete. Uh, guys, if you wanna see more of my videos, make sure you like this, subscribe, share it with your friends. Uh, we'll be dropping new videos every week.